Hey everyone, welcome back to Take You Forward. So today we will be solving this interesting problem which is maximum rectangle area with all ones. Okay, so what does the problem state? You will be given an N cross M matrix. Okay, that will be filled up with one and zeros as you can see over here. And you have to figure out the maximum rectangle. Like for an example, this is the maximum rectangle over here. Like this is the rectangle which has a, a length of two and the breadth of three which is in short an area of six like if you carefully see one two three four five six so the area is six with all ones like there are other rectangles like this is one of the rectangles also this is one of the other rectangles of one into four again uh, probably this is one of the other ones this is one of the other ones i can say this is again one of the other ones can i say something else obviously not this is not an rectangle because all ones we still have a zero so i can say this rectangle is having all ones so the length into breadth is six and that is the maximum that you can get this is the maximum that you can get so there is a prerequisite that you need to know before understanding the approach to this particular problem that is very simple you have to solve this problem area of largest rectangle in histogram like you are given an histogram of height 2 height 1 height 5 height 6 height 2 height 3 you have to find out the largest rectangle and the largest rectangle is this one like if i shade this up this is the largest rectangle of width 2 and height 5 which makes it an area of 10 this is the largest that you can get now you don't have to worry i've already made a video on this like if you see on the screen there is a video which is already made and this is the part one solution which will involve a couple of solution which is the brute force and then a space complexity solution then there is a part two as well of the same video which has again a simple code and it has a very very simple code like if I just go back to the code it's a very very short code so we will be using this portion and please go back and watch this once you have uh, seen this you can come across over so I'm assuming that you've seen the video for largest rectangle in an histogram so assume I am on the first uh, column or rather first row and I said this is a building of one size zero size one size zero size and zero size assume one size zero size one size zero size and another zero size so can i treat this as the same question like i've been given in histograms and i need to find the largest rectangle i it's the same question and the largest that i'll get is one over here right perfect let's go to the next column the moment i next uh, go to the next column can i treat it as a two length building a zero length building a two length building a one length histogram a one length histogram which again makes it something like two zero two one and one and this is the histogram so if this is the histogram can i again find the largest rectangle can i again find the largest rectangle area i can because it's the same histogram i'm getting another histogram so i'll again pass on to that problem and that will give me the answer perfect now, if I just go across to the next guy, over here, I have a three building, I have a one building, I have a three building, I have a two building, I have a two building. So can I say I have a three building, which is again an histogram, I have a one building, I have a three building, I have a two building, and I have again a two building. So all of these are histograms. Again, I'm forming an histogram, which can again give me the largest rectangle. And this time, the largest rectangle will be this, which is two into three, which is six. So I get six from here, which is ultimately this one, which was our answer. So we got it right. Now, what I'll do is I'll now try to move to the next column. The moment I move to the last, I have a height of four. I have for this guy a height of zero, zero again, and this time three, and again a zero, because this is four, this is zero, zero, this is three, and this is again zero. So again, an histogram, and if I pass on, the largest rectangle will be this one of four length. So I get a length four, but eventually the maximum that I got was this portion. So thereby I get my answer as six. Pretty straightforward. That means for every row, if someone can give me, for every row, for every row, if someone can give me the histogram, I can easily solve the problem. Because we know we have already written a function to find the largest rectangle in histogram. We have already written a function. So what we need is, when we go over here, 
I know there are five columns. I know there are five columns. So for five columns, this guy is height one, height zero, height one, height zero, height zero. So height one, zero, one, zero, zero. So this is my this is my height of all histograms. So if I just pass on this to the function, this function will give me the maximum area as of now as one. This will give me the maximum area as of now as one. Perfect. Next, I will move on to here. This is a one. Can I say previously it was a one? So if there is another one coming across, the height of the histogram will ultimately increase only. Ultimately increase only. So what I'll do is I'll just go across and increase it. And if there is a zero, it'll still stay as zero. If there is a one, the height will again increase. If there is a one, previously there was a zero. Now there is a one. So height will again go across to one. And if there is a one, the height will again go across to one. This time, again, I'll pass on to the function. And this time across, we will get the maximum area as two. Which one? Either this one or this one or this one. So we get the maximum area as two. Next, we move to here. Again, we get another one, which means the height is increasing. So this will increase to three. Now this time there is a one, there is a one. So what we will do is we'll make it one. Again, there's a one, so three. Again, there's a one, so two. Again, there's a one, so two. Again, pass on. This time the maximum area we will get is six. This time the maximum area that we will get is six. And as of now, we have a three, one, three, two, two. That is what we have as of now, right? So next we move to the last call. Now we have a one, right? So again, we previously had three. So again, another addition of one will make it four. But this time we have a zero. So the addition is no more taken into count and we will just make it zero, right? We will just make it zero. Again, a zero will make it zero. Again, a one will make it three. Again, a zero will make it zero. So we have four, zero, zero, three, zero. And this time when we pass it, we get the max as four. So among all the calls for every row, the max that we got was six. And that is what our answer will be. So we don't need to do anything every time. We just need to, if it's a one, we increase the height. If it's a zero, I keep the height as it is, because that is how, because if it's a one, previous height will be added. If it's a zero, the height will get back to zero. So let's try to code this up. So what are we given? We are given the matrix, we are given the N, we are given the M, right? So what I'll do is, at first I'll go over here and this is the part two. So at the part two, what I'll do is I'll just take uh, the problem uh, right across here. What we will do is we'll just uh, quickly uh, take the code and we will paste it over here. Perfect. So what I've done is I've just taken the code from uh, the video because we know that is the function that we will use and now we will keep the max area imagine the max area to be one or you can just keep it as zero assuming there is no rectangle and now what i can do is i just need to go across all the rows so go across all the rows perfect so we will go across all the rows what's the next thing we need something like the height histogram right which will carry on all the columns now i know one thing for sure i have to go through all the columns so this is something which you will do and if if matrix of ij is equal to equal to one what we do is we say height at the position j to be plus plus increase it or else we say okay you can just take it as zero once we have done this we will say what is the area that you can give me for this, we will call this function. Okay, what is the area that you can give me if I'm giving you this histogram? And I can say, okay, whatever you give me, can you just uh, compare that with this particular guy? Like across all. And once you have got it, can you please return that same thing? Okay, fine. Now what I'll do is I'll try to run this and see if this is running fine. Okay, stack was not included, definitely, because hash include is not there. So let's quickly uh, take the hash include. Let's just take in the hash include. Indeed, it does give you all the correct answer. If I try submitting this, let's see if it is working or not. It does. And what is the time complexity? It is n into m. So what is the time complexity? Guys, we are running a couple of loops, n into m. And this, if you remember the approach, this takes a big of n because we are using a monotonic stack, right? So what I can say is it's a big of n into 
m plus n like we go off n and inside we are running a couple of loops one is for m and one is for calling the function that's a n into m and what is the space complexity we are using a height vector and over here we are using a stack every time so it's a we go off n space complexity as well so why did i put this problem into the db playlist because because if you see the height we are trying to memorize the past heights and then we are doing plus plus so we are remembering the past heights in order to increase the length of the histogram so somewhere down the line we are using the past stuff so that's why dynamic programming can be uh, this problem can be tagged as dp so guys i hope i was able to explain you this hard problem so just in case i was please 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 make sure you like this video and if you're new to the channel please do consider subscribing to us because that is the only thing that keeps me motivated to make these kind of content and yeah, with this i'll be wrapping up this video let's meet in the next one where i'll be solving the next problem till then bye bye take care